Good morning, all you beautiful people from Kellogg Church. Uh, we're going to try to live stream another one of our services uh, from here at Kellogg Church, 4430 Piedmont Road. Uh, I've often said I'm just a little preacher, uh, but I, I thought to, to a lot of people that are out there that, that aren't able to, to go to their home church uh, uh, this morning, uh, the little song says a little as much when God is in it, and, and hopefully uh, you might be able to, to get something this morning uh, that you might be able to glean on and will get you through another week. We're going to begin our service out with prayer. If you would, bow your heads with us, and we'll pray together. Our Heavenly Father, one more time, we're here uh, in your presence with thankful, grateful hearts. Glad, Heavenly Father, for another opportunity to come boldly before the throne of grace that we might receive help and find strength in our times of trouble. And we pray, precious Spirit of the living God, that Heavenly Father, you'd help us. We're, uh, Lord, we've never come to the place where, that, that Lord, that we can just uh, uh, come up with, with something and preach. We need your help. And we ask you, Heavenly Father, this morning to touch us, give us, Heavenly Father, the strength, and Lord, we'll give you the praise for all things that you do. In Jesus' name, and amen. They said that they just didn't like this. Said they like to be in the house of God and 
and it had changed everything about their their uh, routine. Uh, and it's changed our routine too. Uh, but we're glad, thank God, that we have a Savior that's still on the throne who's still hearing and answering prayer. And as we uh, we start our service this morning, we, we'd like to uh, to say uh, good morning, to especially to our shut-ins. I, I thought, uh, as I sat out here this morning and, and, and thought about shut-ins, we might consider all of ourselves uh, shut-ins this morning. Uh, and it ought to cause us that are, will be able to come back to the house of God once that we can uh, come back into service to realize what the shut-ins are going through and, and be much in, in prayer uh, for them. And then we want to remember uh, Mike and, and Sherry uh, Britt. I understand that they were in a car accident and, and they're uh, with need of our prayers. And then uh, we want to uh, uh, remember the, uh, uh, the Chafin family, uh, Brother Wes Chafin, his wife, uh, uh, Corey. Uh, she passed away this week, and they'll be having her funeral uh, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, visitation will be at 1 o'clock, and the funeral uh, will be at 2, 2 o'clock at Paul Funeral Home in Proctorville, Ohio. And then I, I, I regret to tell you, uh, we had, had planned on beginning revival the day after Easter, and it looks like that this is going to go on much longer than what we thought, uh, so we had to, uh, to cancel our revival meeting. Uh, so I'm sure that'll be scheduled at a, at a later date. Now we'll have another song. Facebook, and then uh, I do want to uh, 
to say thank you. Uh, uh, Brother uh, Steve Bailey was here last week, and, and the first week that we were out without service, uh, he I made a statement. I said, if, if you want to pray, you can come uh, to the church, and, and, and we'll have prayer. Well, there were uh, two of our men to show up. Uh, Brother Steve Bailey was one of them, uh, and Brother uh, Bob Morris uh, was the other, and, and uh, Steve was here last week and sung for us. I, I thought maybe he might come this morning and sing for us. But then uh, uh, I, I called Brother Bob this week, and I said, well, Bob, I didn't see you with us Sunday morning. He said, well, I didn't know that I could come. <laughs> so I said, well, sure you can come. And he's here with us. Uh, I... I I'm sure that there, there are others that, that maybe I should uh, uh, to, to throw some roses to, but I, I throw roses to all you wonderful people at, at Kellogg Church. I want you to keep your head up and keep looking up because one of the, these days, thank God, we're going up by the help and the grace of God. Now we'll have a, a, a song from Robin. Son of Ra. 
once again, I feel like that I'm in church. I've, uh, throughout the years, of the some 30 years that I've been associated with Kellogg Church, there's something about coming into God's sanctuary and when you begin to pray, the presence of the Lord uh, comes in a mighty way. I, I was telling the story to some last week of early, back in probably about 85 or 86, uh, Brother Chafin, uh, Castle Chafin, who's some, been gone for some time, but uh, he was a jokester. He told someone, he said, we got a preacher down there in our church, and said the roof caved in when he got And uh, And I, I thought, oh my. But uh, the years, I, I told that to, to tell this, uh, we spent uh, some probably eight or nine months in, in the fellowship hall having services. And I remember one Sunday evening, I, uh, I was burdened, and I, I, I needed... Uh, to just slip away. And I s slipped away over here to the church. There was no roof at, on the church at, at that time. It was sprinkling the rain. But oh, how God's presence come down. So we're praying this morning as we preach to you that God's presence would come down in your house. And you'd have a little heaven to go to heaven in. So let go. Let God have his way. And I'm sure. That your heart will be blessed. If you have your Bibles this morning. Turn with us to Matthew. And I, I realize that this is, is Palm Sunday. And uh, uh, we'd have uh, uh, children that would be coming in. Waving their palms. Uh, their palm branches this morning. But. We won't be able to do that, uh, but we're going to try to preach what God's given unto us this morning. In Matthew chapter 9, Matthew chapter 9, beginning at the 32nd verse, verse 32, as they went out, behold, they brought to him a dumb man possessed with a devil. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb spake, and the multitude marveled, saying, It was never so seen in Israel. Bow your heads with us once again. Heavenly Father, Lord, as we try to preach to our people this morning, we just ask you, Heavenly Father, to give us that grace, and, and Lord, that you... Uh, put that thumb on her back, give us that unction, that anointing of God's Holy Spirit that makes an ordinary man a preacher of the living Word of God and that you'd use this Heavenly Father when you're through with us, O oh God. May we stand aside. May you be given all glory, all honor and praise for it's all in the name of Jesus. And Amen. I, I, I thought this morning as once again we come to the house of God, and though that we have a, not the congregation of the people here within the confines of the church, we know that there are many of those that are listening in upon Facebook. And I began to think this morning that this uh, uh, service, no doubt, will go out uh, to people that, that maybe would have, have never been in Kellogg Church. I, I looked uh, about the middle part of the week, and I, I think that it said that we'd had uh, somewhat of, of 850 hits, and what whatever a hit is, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not uh, uh, very savvy, I guess, when it comes to, uh, uh, to the, the, the computer or, or anything about it, but I do know one thing. That one of our, our ladies had a cousin and, and, and that lived a, a close to her. And, and the cousin, uh, by chance, got to listen to our service this week. She has cancer and uh, she's unable to go to church at this time. And, and, and I thought if we can reach 
Maybe one soul that is out there that needs to be up, uplifted, that needs, uh, my friends, the Word of God, then it'll be worth, thank God, every mile of the trip. And I believe this morning that we're on a journey, thank God, that one of these days that we're going to, uh, uh, to, to reach that land, thank God, that is far the day. But until that time, we must keep on keeping on. And I thought, my friends, about this scripture this morning uh, and of how uh, that the, the writer said something like this, that they had never seen such things in, in Israel. Began to think there throughout that chapter of how that Jesus was going about and preaching the word of God and of how many folk, my friend, that seen miracles performed uh, right in their midst. I thought, my friends, uh, of that uh, a man uh, that was, was without speech, uh, and my friend, yet Jesus uh, put speech in his mouth, and my friends, uh, he spoke, and I thought, how, what a great miracle that was performed. But then I began to think of, of that lady uh, that, that was uh, with uh, the, uh, the issue of blood, and of how that for so long uh, uh, that she ha had looked for uh, something, tried so many physicians, and yet Yet those physicians could not uh, uh, do anything for her. Uh, uh, but one day Jesus came along and my friend and she said, But if I might but touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. Uh, so my friend, she reached in and, and touched Jesus. And, and immediately my friend, as uh, she was made whole, and began to think this morning of, of what the, the writer said there as he said, we've never seen things like this in, uh, 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 before. And I thought, my friend, we're experiencing here in our nation things that we've never experienced before. I've never seen uh, 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 the day, my friend, uh, uh, when uh, that, that I, I had to spend uh, many Sundays out, out of church uh, uh, ever since uh, the day that the Lord saved me back in 1972. When the doors of the church were open, we were there, uh, uh, my friend, to go to church. But now uh, it's been some uh, three weeks since we've been able to have a, a physical service here at Calvary off the church. And I thought of, of things that are happening, of how the people I've seen of my friend uh, uh, to speak like this. I've never seen uh, uh, things like this. I've never seen things before uh, like that we're seeing now. I, I thought how uh, we take uh, uh, it for granted so many times being out to, uh, able to go out to the restaurant and, and sit down there in that restaurant and have a bite to eat. You can tell, my friend, what is upon my mind this morning. But we can't even do that. If, if, if you get something at a restaurant, you've got to make your way out and get you a bag and bring it home. And I thought, my, we're, we're experiencing things that we've never seen before. And I thought, my friends, who would have thought uh, that the schools uh, would be closed and probably uh, they won't be open uh, for the rest of the year. Things are happening and experiences are taking place. Uh, and my friends, and we, uh, and so many a times, we don't like uh, what we see. But I began to think that's very present. Uh, it's in the day that we're living that we're seeing these things. Uh, People in times past have looked back and, and, and talked about uh, 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 this happening or that happening. Uh, and, and my friends, I thought uh, of hearing some things when I was a, a young boy that kind of made me think, yeah, yeah, but those things no doubt happen. But I want to tell you something on the spiritual side this morning. Thank God. I, I'm glad that my friend, there came a day I, when Jesus, my friend, changed the whole aspect of my life. We began to think him upon those spiritual things. Begin to, to think, my friend, uh, 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 of how uh, that you and I, uh, uh, we're going someplace. And I said that just last week in that service by the help and the grace of God. But I began to think this morning of how uh, uh, that, my friends, things are happening. And I thought of things past of how that, my friends, uh, 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 things happen and people uh, 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 would, would say, I've never seen it happen like this. Uh, I thought, my friend, uh, that as we uh, go into this church this morning, that uh, service this morning, uh, that certainly we would be thinking uh, 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 about Palm Sunday and how Jesus, uh, he made his triumphal entry into Jerusalem, my friends, uh, and of how uh, that, my friend, just uh, uh, a week or so later, uh, 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 a few days later, uh, uh, 
uh, that my friend, uh, that, that he would uh, there, uh, my friend, uh, give his life upon Calvary's cross. Uh, and, and my friend, I thought uh, of how that after three days, thank God, uh, he had told him uh, uh, that my friend, just, uh, just go ahead. Uh, and, but after three days, I'm coming up, thank God, and I'm glad uh, he come up out of that grave of victor, thank God. Uh, and this morning he lives and he rules and he reigns upon heaven's throne. And you and I this morning, thank God, how we can experience the blessings, thank God, of those of us, my friend, that are so unworthy and so undeserving. I, I said how many a times that I certainly took his name in vain. And how that so many a times, my friend, I was I, I was saddened at the fall of the things that I had done against God and his son. But thank God for a loving Savior. Savior, my friend, that one day at an old-fashioned altar of prayer, and my friend, when we got under old-time Holy Ghost conviction, I want to tell you something this morning. If you ever get under old-time Holy Ghost conviction, you'll have to do something. First of all, you'll realize that Jesus is more than just a curse word that so many of people kind of tend to use in this day and time. And you'll have to realize Realize uh, uh, that my friend, he was just a, a man. Uh, my friend, he came to uh, uh, my friend uh, uh, into this uh, life, and he walked as a man upon earth. Uh, but thank God, he was God. And, and my friend, he came uh, uh, with my friend uh, a, a, a job to do. Uh, he came to became, become the, the propitiation for mankind's sin, uh, and it took my friend a uh, uh, one that was sinless, uh, and my friend without sin. And that he was, and my friend, he came down to, to offer himself that living sacrifice for you and I. And thank God, I'm glad this morning that he, he didn't walk away from uh, from the place of my friend where he was. But my friend, that he, that he he endured the suffering and the shame and, and all those things. I call it as the devil. My friend came unto him that time, said, "If you be the son." of God then you uh, you do this or that but my friend I'll tell you what this morning uh, he went all the way thank God uh, every mile of the trip as we've sung that song here just a while ago uh, every mile of the trip uh, he went there unto that cross for you and I have uh, uh, suffered the shame uh, and the torments of my friend that were there uh, I thought as they lifted him up and uh, my friend no doubt the pain uh, uh, that was in his hand but he did it all that up for you and me and that was in the past but I want to tell you something this morning oh thank God there's a time coming in the very near future when that my friend you talk about people they'll begin to say I've never seen it like this before I can see it now and my friend that the graves begin to burst open and my friend those bodies that were in those graves they're gone. And I can see it, my friend, this morning. And my friend, people that were driving along, that know of the mighty grace and the power of God. All of a sudden, the, 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 uh, the car keeps a going. And my, my friend, they're gone by the help of the grace of God. I remember not too long ago of seeing an experience like that of how that, that this car just all of a sudden made a swerve. And over into a tree it, it went, and come to find out the man had had a heart attack there and passed on right there, my friend. But I'll tell you what: but when Jesus come, there'll not be a heart attack to take place. Thank God we're going up, up, up to be with Jesus. We'll be changed in the twinkling of an eye, and my friend, we'll go to a place. Thank God. We're going to a place where forever and forever and forever, oh yeah, you say that pie in the sky, thank God, I'm not a big pie eater because I'm a diabetic, but I'll tell you what, it's sweet and it's good, and my friend, the place where we're going, it'll be far better than anything that we've ever had, my friend, seen in our life. Neither have entered in the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them which shall love his appearing. 
and I thought uh, of my friend there in, in Revelation and it said and I, John, saw. Uh, I'm glad, thank God, that there's witnesses. A uh, uh, brother you talk about, uh, uh, we've seen things uh, happen uh, that we've never uh, uh, seen before in the, uh, uh, my friend, in the very near future. Uh, uh, there's coming a day. Uh, Thank God the writer said in God's tomorrow. I, I'll tell you what. I believe my friend that one of these days uh, that we're going to be in a place where uh, they will not have to worry about all the troubles uh, that we face in, in this life. But I thought uh, there are those of my friend that, that and I'm preaching. I, I thought my friend as I, I, I began this service this morning I, there are those of my friends that, that I may have an opportunity to bring uh, to reach that may not be here uh, uh, next week and uh, next uh, month. Uh, I, I heard the other day where that there was a thousand people uh, in one day uh, that died. We think we're not guaranteed uh, another minute. Uh, but I'll tell you what, uh, you can have a guarantee uh, uh, that my friend, if you uh, have sought the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, if the blood has been applied to your life, uh, and my friend, if you know, thank God for yourself and not another you can know this morning uh, that you passed from death unto life uh, uh, because that you love the brethren. Uh, thank God you can have joy uh, and peace within your heart uh, and know that, thank God, uh, that you've got a better place to go. Uh, uh, this old world, it's not my home. Uh, I'm just passing through. Uh, uh, brother, I found out a long time ago uh, uh, that my friend, it wasn't in uh, uh, the world and the things of the world. Uh, uh, now, my friend, I'll tell you what, I believe that my friend, that there is a, a certainly a price to pay a, a for mankind to be saved. A, you've got to, a, my friend, a, a forsake the ways that, that you were living. A, thank God when Jesus comes into your heart, a, he said old things pass away a, and all things become new a, and we become a new creation in him. A, and I'm glad, thank God, that I know a, a, that my friend, he can change your life. Uh, uh, take you, my friend, uh, out of the bar rooms uh, and put you, my friend, uh, in a new life. Thank God of praise and glory. Glory! Uh, I'm glad this morning that Jesus lives. Uh, then we sing a song many times uh, that said, I serve a risen Savior. Uh, he's in the world today. I know that He's living. Thank God, whatever men may say, uh, I know He's living this morning uh, and He's out there uh, with outstretched arms. Uh, no matter where you are, uh, uh, no matter who you are, uh, no matter what you've done, my friend, uh, and there's something uh, uh, that my friend knocks uh, upon the heart's door of mankind, uh, allows him to realize uh, uh, that, my friend, there's something, uh, uh, something more I, I thought of so many times. Uh, I knew that there had to be something more uh, than the way and, and the life that I was living. Uh, and my friend, one day I heard about Jesus. Thank God. Uh, uh, that he came to me, uh, uh, my personal Savior. Uh, and my friend, I bowed my knees at that altar of prayer. Uh, I can't tell you, uh, uh, my friend, what I, I, I said, but I know one thing. Uh, I didn't know the first thing about prayer. Uh, uh, but I remember coming to a place when I said, Lord, uh, if there be a God in heaven, uh, and if you can do anything for me, uh, I wish you would. <laughs> Glory to God about that time, uh, uh, my friend. Uh, are you talking about feeling? I felt, thank God, those sins lifted. And I felt the joy of His love. Went out of that place that morning. All things were new. The birds, when they sung, it seemed, seemed like that they sung a sweeter song. And the joy, thank God, that my friend, we hadn't experienced so much in our life. We, we My friend, we, we were quick to laugh. Uh, uh, but yet, my friend, there was something down in the deep resources of our soul uh, uh, that le led us to know uh, that things weren't right uh, uh, with our, our God. And yet, uh, uh, my friend, I kept saying, uh, I had a mother-in-law that so many times uh, I should say, uh, a young man said, you better get right with God or you're going to hell. Uh, and I tell her, yeah, 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 someday. Uh, but thank God, I'm glad the someday day came, and brother Jesus came into my heart, satisfied the longing of my soul, I put a peace
peace, thank God, that passes all understanding within my heart. And I begin to walk in newness of life. Uh, uh, brother, I'll tell you what. Uh, you say, well, I, uh, I tried it one time and, and, and I couldn't, uh, uh, I couldn't uh, uh, live with that. I'll tell you what. Uh, it's not in what I am, my friend, this morning. Uh, there's a God that's greater uh, than I am and bigger than I am. Uh, and he said uh, uh, that he would go with us. Uh, he would not leave us. He would not forsake us. Uh, and lo, he would be with us always uh, unto the end of the earth. Uh, and I believe that my friend every day uh, when I get up, uh, he's right by my side uh, uh, to show me the right uh, and the wrong turns in the road uh, and show me, uh, uh, my friends, the things that I need to do. Uh, and I'm at fault. Uh, the years of past, uh, I, I was 21 uh, years old when I gave my heart to the Lord. Uh, never been, uh, uh, my friend, uh, 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 with uh, anything but praise for that day that came. Uh, and yet I realize uh, that the days are passing by. Uh, I find myself all turned. Uh, I, I believe it's, uh, what is it, 68 or 69, Robin? I turned that this year, one, one or the other. But I thought, where did the days go by? And I'll tell you, the days are passing by so quickly. And I thought of what the words were spoken by that one individual that said something about the time was passing by so fast, but only the things of God or Christ will last. I'll tell you what, that's where the difference is. My friend, when Jesus becomes King of kings, Lord of lords of your life, if you're not your own, thank God you belong to the Master, and He's got control. You walk, and you talk, and you have your being in Him. And my friend, you're walking at every step toward on that journey toward a city which hath foundation, whose builder and maker is God. Say, do you know Him this morning as your Savior and friend? Do you know that, my friend, that He said, "Let whosoever." will. I, I thank God. I, I'm glad that included me. I, and it includes you too. I, he said come to the water I, and drink. I, brother I'll tell you what. I, if you're thirsty. I, if your soul is hungering I, I, for things my friend that you haven't found I, in this uh, present world. I, uh, may I tell you uh, uh, that Jesus still abides. I, and oh thank God he's on only uh, a whisper of a prayer away. Uh, and the arm is outstretched and he's reaching out. He said, come unto me, all you that labor are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me and you shall, you shall be meek and lowly for you. So I know this morning, brother, that I I came to him, my friend, in the nick of time. I know that if it hadn't been for the grace of God, I would have been like so many other boys that I, I, I hung around with and there's a bunch of them. I, I, my friend, uh, they're already gone uh, long before their time but called uh, uh, that my friend uh, uh, the things that they sought uh, uh, destroyed the body and many a times uh, uh, put them in a place, uh, uh, my friend, where they didn't want to be. But thank God uh, I'm glad this morning for the joy of the Lord uh, that I feel in my soul. May I invite you uh, this morning to come unto Jesus. He said, come unto me and I'll give you rest. Won't you want, don't you want that rest that only Jesus can give? Thank you. We give you, uh, give God the praise and the glory for the things that He does. And, and, and my friend, if, if we've said something uh, uh, that will, uh, will help you, uh, uh, my friend, I, I, I pray that you give God the glory, honor, and the praise. We'll now have another song by our choir.